Hey guys, this is Payesh from Pium.com and I know you guys haven't seen me in a video since a couple of weeks and more and that's because of COVID-19. Yep, 2020 sucks. Long story short, I am back. Anyway, Android TV has been getting very, very popular in India and a lot of you guys, I'm sure, are using an Android TV or a TV with an Android TV box setup. So which are the absolutely must-have apps for an Android TV? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly that today. So let's begin. So most Android TVs come with fairly compact remotes, but a lot of TVs come with remotes that look like this. Yeah, that's a lot of buttons and if you're using just the Android TV platform, most of these buttons are kind of useless. Well, that's where Button Mapper is so useful. With Button Mapper, I can just add, say, this button and customize it to open an app. Then I can set this button to trigger an action like taking a screenshot. Now here's me taking a screenshot from this button. Yeah, that's cool, right? Now that's not all, Button Mapper also lets you set actions for double taps as well as long presses and not just for these additional buttons, even the default Android TV buttons like home, back, volume buttons, etc. So I can set the volume up button to change tracks on double press. I mean, that is cool, right? Now, as you must have noticed that I'm using this app with my TV at home and that's because the app did not work with the TV at the studio. So yeah, that's something you'll have to check. So TV usage is a digital well-being app for Android TV and it's handy because it's much, much more than that. As you can see, it shows you the duration of time you have spent on different apps. My data here is pretty clean and nice because this is a TV from the studio that I don't really use. Now, I can also check out the details of the app usage, which is great. But if you have, say, kids at home, the app lets you set screen time and usage hours to limit their usage. You can even go further and lock a certain app with a pin. So there's no way to access it. And yeah, your kids will hate you, but yeah, this is actually useful for everyone using an Android TV. Now, one thing to note, the app shows you the usage details for free, but if you want to put limits or lock an app, you'll have to make a one-time purchase of 300 rupees. Android TV, Android both basically have the same core, yet there's no way to send files between them, which is strange. Anyway, the app I think a lot of people use and I use to send files, which is mostly APKs from my Android smartphone to the Android TV, is send files to TV. It's a super simple app. All you need is your phone and the TV connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now you can just select send on the phone and receive on the TV, then select the file, select the TV, and that's it. The file will be sent. Do note that this works fine for smaller files, but I did notice that it kind of slows down at times with bigger files. But yeah, for APKs and other small files, this is very good. So I, like most Android TV users, was using Puffin browser in the past and it was great until they started a subscription service to use the browser without any time limit. Yup, a subscription to use the browser. I mean, the rating says it all. Anyway, so I was looking for another browser and that's when I came across TV Bro. Now, I found the UI to be not so intuitive at first, but once I got used to it, I really liked the whole feature set and the browser. First of all, let me make it clear, I like the name TV Bro. Second, it loads up all the websites I use very well and it's very fast and smooth, something very important. Plus, navigating the web pages or going through the different menus is responsive with the TV remote, which again is very important. And as for the features, it has download manager, voice search support, and it is open source, so it's free and nice. So yeah, TV bro, bro. A file manager app is definitely a must have for Android TV because you need to access files like APKs, local files, etc. And there are a lot of file managers available for Android TV, but my favorite, and I think it's the best file manager app for Android TV is FX file manager. Now, there are a number of reasons I think that. I personally think its Android TV UI looks good, especially because it's clean and navigation is very good. And I like that most of its features from its phone version is here. There's support for multiple windows with split screen view, so you can move files between different folders easily. There's built-in video player, music player, image viewer, text viewer, and editor. It supports creating and unpacking archives such as zip, 7-zip, and RAR. So yeah, it has all the features and its free version has no ads, no privacy issues and all of the important features I use. So yeah, it's got to be perfect for most people.
See, Play Store Android TV has a lot of popular apps, but I think it's still pretty limited and sideloading apps on Android TV is still a little bit of a hassle. And that's where I think alternative app stores come in really handy. Now, Aptoid TV is the app store to install an Android TV because this TV aimed version has all the different Android TV apps you need. Apps like Prime Video, in case you have one of the older Android TVs that don't have Prime Video support. It has apps like the Smart YouTube TV app, which I know a lot of people use. The point is there are a lot of apps on Aptoid TV that I think you'll find handy. So make sure to check it out. So by default, the stock Android TV launcher does not show sideloaded apps in the apps list. So we have to use apps like Sideload Launcher to access these apps. Well, there's an app to get these apps on the default Android TV launcher. It's called Nebula Manager and it just works. It's very simple. Just open up the app and it shows the different third party apps here. Now I can just select apps that I want to see in the app drawer, like say TV Bro or Aptoid TV, which I've sideloaded. And that's it. Now they're here in the app drawer and I can even add them to the home screen. I know it's a very simple app, but it's very handy if you sideload a lot of apps. The one thing I don't like about Android TVs is that there's no way to switch between different apps. There's no way to see the apps running in the background. Yeah, some TVs allow that, but mostly most Android TVs don't have this functionality. With the latter, the ability to see background apps is fixed by this app called Background Apps and Process List. So this is again a very easy to use app that shows you all the apps running in the background. I know the UI looks kind of basic, but it gets the job done. Anyway, so you can see all the apps here and also kill apps right here. The process to kill apps is in the most intuitive because even when you use the close all button, it opens up the app info page of each app one by one where you have to press four stop for every single app. So it's kind of an annoying process. So I choose to only kill the app that I'm not using for the time being. Overall, it's not the best solution to kill apps in the background, but at least it's a solution. So yeah, check it out. So the last app, kind of the bonus app I want to talk about is Google Home. Now, I know this is not an Android TV app, but I think with Google Home, you can do a lot of cool things with Android TV. Now, there's obviously the fact that you can cast songs or, you know, cast videos to Android TV, but there's a lot more. So there's the cast my screen option to mirror your Android phone screen to the TV to maybe show photos, do a presentation or anything else. I also like the ambient mode, which you can find here and it lets you customize the screensaver on the TV. There's the Google photos option, the art gallery option, which includes some really good photos and even photos captured from pixel phones. There's also the experimental mode, which lets you set photos from Facebook and Flickr and also enable a low bandwidth mode. As for other options, you can hide whether or choose to show it in Celsius or Fahrenheit, show or hide the time. Uh, there's also the different Google Photos options and the option to set the slideshow speed. So yeah, these are some interesting options and yeah, this is an app that Google will always improve with more and more features. So yeah, this is a must have. Now, apart from all of these apps, there's one more thing that you should maybe try. So Android TV is transitioning to Google TV, but if you want to experience the Google TV home screen right away, we have a detailed guide on the same, so check it out. Anyway, those are some of the must-have Android TV apps that you should be using on your Android TV. And the links to all of them are in the description down below. So go ahead, check them out. And if you think there's another must-have app that we kind of missed out on, make sure to comment below so that everyone else knows. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it around. And yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.